Welcome back, everyone. Um, I was asked the other day there on a comment how to avoid tiger stripes. Um, and I have my opinions. Obviously, a lot of other good plasters out there have different opinions on how to avoid them. Um, but I'll give you my opinions and then I'll give you some other opinions of plasters that I know in person as well. Um, but my main opinions would be, um, for one, when you're second coating, even when you're first coating everything, try and get it as neat as possible. You can actually see a few lines in my ceiling. Um, if they were to dry out a wee bit too much when you're second coating, you could possibly get tiger stripes or marks and we we sort of blemishes in the plaster. There won't, there won't be blemishes because you will be able to trial them out, but um, from a, a sort of a looks perspective, you'll, you'll be able to see them marks visually so you you might want to have it as flat and neat as possible possibly maybe use a speed skim might help you out cover flattening a greater area quicker so that them lines are getting flatter quicker and um, so that's that's to me that would be the real main main reason would be the tidiness of your coat and um, the second reasons would be timing and um, mostly not not going too late because if you're going too late you'll have to put a lot more pressure in to get them lines and sort of be creases folded out and that might cause that different in coloration and um, also that if there is any wee hollows you'll be filling them in with fat instead of with finish so the fat won't dry as well as if you had to get it in flatter to begin with um, some of it may sound a wee bit gobbledygook of what I'm talking here, but if you are learning the trade, th these things will, you'll start to pick up on these things, and you'll start to understand what I'm saying better. Um, so obviously a good broken in trial will help you also coat. The reason my scenes has lines is sometimes I like to coat with my new trial to try and just help edge it in. Um, I'll I'll sand cement with my new trials and I'll also first and second coat with it and sometimes try and get a, a first trial in with it um, but in this case I did swap back to my refiner trial it was it's really well rounded in at the edges so it helps stop them lines so that's my two main reasons of it and um, possibly if you're re-skimming old stuff it's all about controlling your background as well, controlling the suction so that it's not drying too quick on you. But um, that'll probably be another video. Um, leading on to what some other plasters think and have said. Um, they, some have said over-mixing your finish can lead to it. And some have said under-mixing your finish can lead to it. Um, I can, can understand that too, is if you have lumpy stuff, Again, it might, might sort of show slight discolorations throughout and um, over mixing. I'm not, not terribly sure about that one, but I, you know, it's possible. Um, I think the reasons I give are probably spot on. Um, I very rarely would get tiger stripes in my work. Um, most times it does come in quite neat, quite tiny. Teddy, and if I wanted to put a shine on it, um, I really could put a shine on it where it would look like glass. But again, that's you don't really need that. That would just just sort of makes the job look really good, but would possibly give the painter a bit of a headache trying to trying to get his job done. And to me, all tradesmen should be trying to help the guy coming after him, um, not trying to hinder him. But again, some people do like to mess about and make the sparks jobs harder and the painter's jobs harder but yeah that's 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 more videos and um, so i've got the, the mixing guys obviously mixing is very important it's like 50 percent of the job if it's not mixed right the job will not be right if if it's sand cement it's the same thing if it, you haven't got your mixes right they could it could all just fall off it could go post and um, so mixing is very important to plastering and um, so I, th I think I've covered the main main reasons. Um, so, but if any of you guys have um, some ideas and want to share them with with the person who's asking this question, you're more than welcome to. Um, and I look forward to making more videos and getting chatting to these guys um, later on as well. So thanks for watching.